All right, I just got my uh, call from Customs. They're ready. To, they're ready for me. Uh, but the wind is pretty strong. I don't really want to try to to motor, pull the anchor up, and uh, or or fill up the dinghy. So I'm just gonna swim it. I, 250 Pickle yards. Herring. Pickled herring. Gene. Gene. Nearby catamaran just offered me a ride, so I don't have to swim now. On his dinghy. Man, it is windy. All right, time to get the uh, my COVID test. All right, I got my uh, my test, and now uh, just gonna hang out here and uh, see if I can get a ride back to my boat. It's gonna be rough trying to get back aboard this thing. <laughs> my new friend board. Ford gave me some pot roast and so I'm gonna heat that up for kind of lunch today. The wind is just roaring through the anchorage. I'm glad I took the time to put my big anchor out. All right, this is day number three uh, in Bermuda. I got my COVID uh, negative results last night, so I get to go ashore. Pretty excited about that. Um, I'm just prepping everything. The wind is calm enough that I'm, I'm fine taking the dinghy. Getting my, I wanted to get my gross, all my garbage out of the boat and I'm going to the fridge and getting rid of anything that's bad. Free shower on the other side of uh, this island. So we'll just go for a walk around the island, do some little snorkeling and uh, yeah, grocery shopping, sightseeing. And then tomorrow we'll we'll head out. Uh, probably in the afternoon so I can maybe do one more trip ashore. But we're, we're pretty much ready to go. I've got plenty of food. I could make it to Azores, but it'd be nice to get some fresh, some fresh uh, supplies. And that's the plan. I also finally got to take down my yellow Q flag. That's for a quarantine. And I get to put out my ch -ch 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 Bermudan courtesy flag, which is on the floor over there. Well, the COVID uh, test requirements are annoying. Uh, I will say everyone I've interacted with in customs and the health uh, department has been super nice and friendly and, uh, and it's, been a, it's been a good experience overall. It's way better than air airline travel. Boat travel beats airline travel any day. All right, so we got to get rid of this nasty whatever water that always kind of develops in the, the bottom of the fridge. I could just open this and have it drain to the bilge, but then my bilge water would smell all that much worse. It's not too bad today. Let's move to the, the dinghy dock. Uh, I was surprised that this little electric motor was able to push us all the way here with all this wind, uh, but it, it just it just made it. It looks like Lingonberry has a tiny little leak on this old patch. Um, but uh, I'll just patch that up when I get when I get back. This fort was built in 1626. So coming into one of these channels is hard enough, especially with that we didn't have charts and stuff. Can you imagine doing it with these cannons shooting at you too? Had a great little snorkel session. Uh, there's a bunch of cool fish down there. Unfortunately, I forgot my GoPro, but uh, those, those rocks are razor sharp. You gotta be careful climbing on them. Off to the next spot. This is Alexandra Battery. I think we're gonna have to go for another swim. Okay, snorkel session number two complete. I like the little uh, the parrot fish and then the little white white fish that are almost you can almost see through them. They're pretty cool. This is a pretty nice little beach. There's lots of sea glass here. Just another day in paradise. Now I'm gonna walk up to the north uh, side of St. George. I see another fort down there. This is Gates Bay, and there's another fort. Let's go check it out. Finally a fort with a drawbridge. These are the alligators, I guess.
And here's where the shells are kept. And here's those big guns. I got my obligatory dark and stormy. Not too dark, but a little stormy, yeah. So this is the Bermuda Railway Trail. It goes along the north side of the island. It's kind of a nice trail right along the water. Just got my free cold shower at Tobacco Bay. Uh, feels so good to be clean again. Stop by the grocery and get a few uh, fresh vegetables and fruit. Of course, everybody else left except for the one guy that's in my way. Might be able to squeeze underneath there though, we'll see. There's a, a big shipwreck right, right behind my boat and I want to go snorkel over and check it out. And this time I'm going to remember my, uh, my GoPro. That was pretty fun to explore that shipwreck and get to see Bermuda. Um, I hope you'll join me next time when I embark on my 1800 mile uh, voyage across the Atlantic to the Azores. Thanks for watching.